Welcome back, everybody. This is going to be the final episode of our current look at Alpha 3 of Ostriv, which is this great uh, village sim uh, set in the 1700s being developed by one single guy. So that's why it's going to move kind of slow as far as the production goes. This game has been in development for a couple of years, but it's coming along nicely. There's really not a lot more for us to look at that we haven't already done. So we're going to wrap it up with this episode, looking at just a couple of the features, a couple of the buildings that we haven't explored yet. Once we do that, we will wait. And at some point down the road, when there's a big update and there's a lot more to see, I will definitely be coming back to this game. So let's see what we haven't done yet. So our current building project is a stable. Uh, there is a village nearby that will allow us to purchase horses from them, so that's where we're going to get that. But right now we have nowhere to put them. Once we get a stable, we'll start being able to have horse-drawn carts, which is dr going to dramatically improve the efficiency of my village and how quickly they can do things. But it's going to take a little while to get all of the necessary supplies gathered here so we can begin the work. Hopefully by winter we're going to have this stable up and running. This was also the first year in which we have a harvest that was uh, created in fields that were plowed first. So I'm anxious to see if plowing uh, has a big impact on the amount of crops that we're able to harvest. I'm also a little bit nervous with it being almost mid-October uh, that we've still got a lot of crops to gather. I feel like maybe we don't have enough uh, folks working it looks like we have no laborers helping right now, so we must be short on laborers. Either that or they're currently... No, we just have no laborers working anywhere. I don't know if they're all taken up with other things, but I feel like we're not going to get all of these fields gathered in time. I'm a little nervous about that. Almost mid-November now. We've still got a whole field of potatoes. Two, two fields of potatoes over here. A uh, full field of hemp that needs to be gathered and a field of potatoes over here that's getting gathered. And I'm really getting nervous that we're going to lose some of this crop. I've tried everything, but I just can't get enough people into the field faster to do this. I'm going to go ahead and hire additional workers at each of these farms. I really wasn't expecting it to take this long to get this stuff grown and gathered. All right, our messenger arrived at uh, Balaki Balaklia. And we're going to buy some horses. We certainly can't buy that many. We just don't have the funds for it. Uh, I'm going to buy three. Now we can probably get away with buying four. But that's definitely it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I just bought four male horses and no females. That was really not smart of me. Well, we're not going to be breeding any new ones, that's for sure. Okay, so here's our chance to buy some horses. We don't have a lot of funds, so we're not going to be able to buy a lot. I think I can probably buy two male and two female. So we can at least uh, start breeding. It's not a great start, but it'll at least get us going. We're definitely going to lose some of this harvest if December hits and it destroys the remaining crops. Looks like we're gathering the hay and wheat and water that we need. And our horses will be arriving in a couple days. Looks like we're just about maxed out on hatchlings and chickens, which means we're going to start producing some chicken meat with those very soon. And uh, we'll see how that helps with the food supply. I want to take a look as well over here at our lime kiln because we're still waiting for that to be filled. Uh, they're currently gathering charcoal for the next layer, so... Um, it's just an ongoing process. This has been at least a year, if not longer, for us to produce our first batch of lime. And then, of course, we're going to need uh, more than that to be able to produce what else we need. The next thing we will need after that is a lime works. So I'm going to go ahead and actually start queuing that up to be built over here as well. That will produce lime from quick lime and water. So we'll get that right there. So all of that production will be right kind of in the same area. We'll have our tannery here, which uh, requires lime. We bought some lime, but we want to be able to produce our own. It requires salt, lime, bark, and hides to be able to produce in the tannery. Working hard loading all that charcoal for the latest layer. It does look like it's getting near the top, so I'm hoping we're going to be super close. Uh, now we're back to gathering limestone, which apparently we also had. 
Uh, so it looks like we're right near the top, and this batch might actually get produced here soon. So we have another messenger from uh, Marefa now, and I think I'm going to go ahead and order some more horses because we've built up a little more money. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And this time I'm going to get one male. Actually, I'm not going to get any males. I'm going to get three females because I, I think the, uh, the males we have are enough. But I definitely want to get some more females uh, so we have better chances of breeding some horses. Uh, we haven't bred any so far. We've just got the same amount that we started with. So I don't know how that's all going to work out. We're still waiting on this lime kiln to get going. It looks like we're about to drop off another load. There's quite a bit of limestone sitting over here. It's just we're so short on laborers. Everybody's wanting laborers um that it's just taken forever for things to happen so i'm building up a couple more homes so we can hopefully bring in some more families so we've got a nice amount of food going right now uh, but we need more families uh, so we have more workers at long last our lime kiln is at work and it's going pretty fast actually so we're going to be producing some lime uh, our lime works then will be able to start doing their thing they've already gathered their water so they're just waiting now uh, on the lime kiln to be complete and then that's going to in turn allow our tannery uh, to finish gathering everything they need to make this happen i think i'll also go ahead and build us a proper church uh, we've got the little chapel right down here by the cemetery and honestly i should probably have the church by the cemetery as well so we're going to put the church down this way so that we can put more burial plots behind it you can see even through seven, eight years now of having this village, we've only had four people die. So that's been pretty good. I've still got three empty burial plots, and then we'll have some additional ones go in as well. We have our first newborn horse, three months old, a female. Uh, so at some point, we're going to figure out how we go about assigning uh, some of these horses to work and to pulling carts. Uh, here in Trade and Transport, you can see here... Um, We've got a messenger. We'll have to deal with that. Wagon shed can hold up to three wagons. I don't think we've built one of those yet. Uh, so far, we just have cart parking here, camp cart parking. So we're going to build a, wa a wagon shed so we can start making some horse-drawn wagons. That's definitely going to improve things. Looks like we produced somewhere in the neighborhood of 10,000 in our quantity of quicklime. Uh, so maybe a little less, but... Uh, the worker just gathered the first 200. I don't know how much they're going to need to produce 500 lime, but we're going to find out soon enough. But that should last us for a good long time. You'll see for the first time in quite a while, nobody complaining about the variety of food. I think we're finally getting that food supply the way we want it. You can look here. This is a particular family. Uh, they've got fish. They've got sunflower oil. They've got milk. They've got potatoes. Uh, we've got drinking water, firewood. I know there's beef available, and we actually are in a place where pretty soon we can probably slaughter some more cattle. We've had eggs and chicken meat available as well. Let's look here at some of the market stalls. You can see here we've sold 330 chicken meat from this stall, uh, 10 potatoes, 780 eggs. This one here has sold 1,700 firewood, 320 fish, 210 flour, and 190 potatoes this year. Uh, over here, we've sold 370 in potatoes, 900 flour, 390 in dried fish. And then here, uh, we're sold clothes, sunflower oil, and beef. That's where most of our beef is being sold. So it does look like we're out of beef currently. We do also need to build for pigs. We haven't prepared for that yet. I think that's one of the few things we have left. Uh, our saddlery as well. We can make horse tack from leather and metal parts. So I think we'll go ahead and queue that up, though. We've got a, a few things in the works right now, so it may be a little while before we get that built. Uh, right now, we're working on the church right over here, and you can see how much wood, nails, and stone that's going to require. We've got to check on our iron supply because I'm not sure how much we've got left. We may need to buy some more iron. Let's take a look here. Here's our smithy. Yeah, it looks like we're about out of iron, so yeah everything's going to start getting backlogged if we don't buy up some iron that year we managed to get our whole harvest complete in plenty of time so that's some good news 
Uh, we should be good on food for the foreseeable future. What I need right now more than anything is iron. I hadn't been paying attention to the fact that we weren't bringing in iron, and I don't have enough money to just send out messengers to the other town. Some of that costs almost 100 just to send the messenger, and then you need to buy the iron if they have it. So we're just going to have to sit tight, and we're going to be on hold being able to build our church, our wagon shed, and our saddlery. Uh, until we're able to purchase some iron. There's no way to produce your own iron, at least not yet in the game. I'm sure eventually that'll be an option, but there's just no way to gather that right now. Okay, so we can't get iron, but we can purchase nails. And a thousand nails will go a long way for 50, so we're going to go ahead and do that right now. That'll at least get me by and help with some of these building projects. Let's see what we're going to require for those. The church requires 372 nails. The wagon shed, 186. And we need 106 for the saddlery. So that'll at least get us through those three building projects. Our church is finally going up. We've gathered all the necessary, necessary resources for that. Got a messenger visiting from Marifa. I don't know that there's a lot we can sell to them, but um, metal parts. Nah, that's not really going to help. Honey, interesting. I didn't even know honey was an option. Um, we could sell some sunflower. I think we've got some extra of that. Maybe a little bit of lime now, too. Let's go ahead and sell some, some lime, if possible. Now we're going to need to have those things in our trading post, and we currently don't. We've got a lot of sunflower oil there, but not sunflower itself. So I'll have to go ahead and hopefully quickly add those things. Maybe add another worker to make that happen. Now we don't have extra workers right now available, so I'm going to have to build some more houses too. We just don't have enough people to do all the jobs that need done. I love, as I've said before, watching these building projects unfold. Obviously, we're in kind of a fast mode, but the church has been especially cool because it is a much bigger structure. There's a lot more wood involved in this one. It's probably going to be one of the biggest structures we've ever built. There are the roofs going on now. Very cool. It's fun to watch. I love the attention to detail and little things like that that really make this satisfying. They're even building kind of, you've got the scaffolding around the outside of it there's the steeple going up that's a lot of fun to watch i think we're going to go ahead and just watch this one to completion it's pretty close uh they've got all the available they still have another 900 wood that's going into construction in this thing so you can see how much it takes there's our cross up on top we've got the thatch on the roof now Actually, I don't think it used any thatch. I think that was all wood for that roof. Still 7,700 wood to go. They're going to build, looks like a porch around the outside. Really neat. Let's go look at it from another angle over here. Just gives a little personality to our village, especially when we get more grave plots going in back there. We've got 105 people now, and money hasn't been a problem. This is the first time I've played through where I've never really had issues with uh, people needing financial help. Uh, you can click on this button and it'll give them five. Um, it's, it's basically like a welfare system. I've never once had to do that for anybody, so it seems like we've found a good balance of work and income uh, and price on goods and everything so that's been really good so our church is up and now we're going to start working on the wagon shed right over here and then we can start getting some horse drawn wagons how many horses do we have by the way um we've had a few more born so you can see we've got five total that are under a year old those are our five that have been born to us uh we are up to 16 now as far as cows go we could send a couple more of these ox over here to form another plow but they've ordered the plow but the second plow hasn't come in and I think that's because we don't have the resources to build it so we do have a wagon shed over here we've been ordered we've had them ordered for a while I don't know what the weight is on these things I don't know if it's workers or if it's materials right now but you can see our carpentry's got four orders in queue I don't know what the holdup is on 
actually making those orders happen. All right, we've got iron available. We're going to buy all 2,000. That's going to wipe me out financially. But we absolutely need every bit of that iron, and I think we'll be making enough money and income to uh, make up for that. So I'm hoping that that's what we're waiting on, our metal parts, uh, to be able to continue these projects. Uh, so that's going to get the iron that we need to max out, hopefully, on metal parts. Our saddlery is complete. They need leather to produce horse tack, and we are working on that. Over here in our tannery, it takes months for the first batch to be done. Uh, so they've got uh, multiple batches that they're queuing up, but it looks like we've got our first 500 leather right there. So it's just waiting on being gathered. Uh, hopefully this worker will be able to go and do that. We oh, we don't even have a worker right now. So uh, we continue to have a real problem with a lack of laborers. So I'm, I'm just going to have to ramp up our building of new homes. I think we've got a chicken died of starvation. What? Oh boy. How are they dying of starvation? Are we not bringing in food for them? Um, all right. So let's go ahead and limit. Wow. They're all dying. That's bad. We should have been slaughtering those chickens. I don't know why in the world food reserves less than a month. We need more workers. I've got to queue up several more houses. We've got to get some more workers in here. To do these jobs we're losing all of our chickens right now so the last thing that i want to do uh, in this episode there's a few things we haven't done that we could do uh, for example with pigs uh, i'm not going to worry about that the main thing i want to do right now is i want to get some horse-drawn carts in action we're waiting desperately on enough metal parts uh, for the carpentry to get going on those orders once they do that we'll be able to have our horse-drawn carts and i've actually gone ahead and placed an order uh, for purchasing uh, some additional metal parts because uh, even though I've got my smithy only producing metal parts, they're just not doing it fast enough. Well, I don't know if something's broken with the system or what, but I've been watching the carpentry. They haven't added any new metal parts even though we have them. They don't. It just says four more orders in queue, but it doesn't actually show anything being built. So I don't know if there's a problem with that. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to cancel these orders uh, for the wagons as well as the order for a new plow over here, which it doesn't appear I can cancel. Uh, I'm going to try to see if this will kind of reset that. Now it's showing the plow uh, being ordered, which is what we need. So I don't know if that will kick that into gear or what, but now we'll go ahead and queue up a wagon after that. No draft horses, so that's why we were waiting on draft horses. So I don't know if we can convert these. There we go, we can. Uh, so let's convert two of these females into draft horses. That should allow us there we go. Now we're getting ourselves our first wagon. That's what, what the holdup was the whole time. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and queue up another one of those. We've got some young males, so I think we can go ahead with um, this female and this male to be draft horses as well. So we need four horseshoes and one tack. We are producing those things. So that should get us going here pretty soon. There's the horse being taken over. And now we've got ourselves, let's go ahead and slow it down so we can see, a horse-drawn cart. Beautiful. That's going to help things tremendously, especially as we get more of those going. Okay, so with that in mind, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. That's uh, the end of our current look at Alpha 3. Like I said, a couple of minor things we didn't really touch on. Uh, primarily uh, having to do with, let's take a look here. I think I built everything uh, that there is. I didn't make a shoemaker's workshop, which you can make shoes from leather. Uh, so that's another thing that we could certainly queue up, and I'll go ahead and do that uh, just so when I come back to revisit this at some point, that'll be something that'll be available to us. In fact, I'll put the shoemaker's workshop over here uh, right by where we're making leather. That seems like a good spot for that to go. Um, other than that, let's take a look if there's anything else major we haven't done. Uh, stone mining camp we have, thatchery, yep, 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 yep. Uh, I think the only other thing was the pigsty. 
Uh, so that's really about it. Eventually there will be, uh, I mean, there are things that we could do with decoration uh, that we didn't really mess around with at all. Uh, but eventually there will be some health things. There will be some education options, and I'm sure even more. So let me know your thoughts, not only about this episode, but about the game in general as my horses start to die of starvation because I haven't been producing enough wheat. So that's something to think about. Uh, but we'll, we will come back to this game at some point. But for now, that's about, about all I have to show you for Austria. So check it out for yourself. We'll see you again soon.